Oh, uh, shalom, Rastafari, Melkam Fasika, Melkam Tinsai, Tinsai, resurrection in the Gutters, the Ethiopic, or Tinsha'e, the resurrection of our Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos. But what's interesting about this particular um, Easter, is it Rastafari Easter, right? Black Jewish Fasica, Passover, what's the link and connection between all of these elements? First of all, 420, which was the Sunday, 2014, was Easter, or known as Easter, which is really concerning the resurrection of Jesus Christos, right? As well as, very interestingly enough, it was also known as so-called Weed Day, right? Weed Day among those um, recreational um, marijuana or pot smokers. But there's a deeper significance to all of this, right? There's a deeper significance. If you've read Cannabis Matrix, if you haven't read Cannabis Matrix, definitely we will recommend a copy, right, of Cannabis Matrix. And there's a very interesting connection right here because this is two-thirds of our spring festival season. What I mean by two thirds of it? Well, the spring festival season, which begins with Passover, there are three particular um, holy event horizons. One of the holy event, the first one is the is the Lord's Sup, is our Black Lord's Sup, the Lord of the Perfect Blacks Supper, or Yeshua Jesus Christos Supper, which is known as the um the last supper in Christianity, but it's actually based on the Passover Exodus supper of, 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 of the Hebrews under Moses or Musa, the head of the fraternal order of the Israelites. That's where the template, that's the groundation. That's the foundation right there. So first is Passover, which is the 14th of the month of Nisan or Abib, Aviv, now, Aviv, Abib is also very interesting because in Abib or Aviv, we have the barley harvest or the first fruits, which is the third. First fruits is the, is the day after the Senbet or the Shabbat, which, which comes after the seventh day of the unleavened bread. Now, some of this might sound, if one is still new to this, it might sound a little bit complicated at first, especially if you know about Easter in the terms of the bunny rabbit and the egg and the uh, imposter Christ, you know, the whitewashed Jesus and all the confusion of Babylon. But when we come out of Babylon and return to the basics, we start to see the interconnectivity of these two thematic ideas. And even among the Gentiles, when they talk about um, weed day, right? This 2014, this is on the very same day as what is observed by Eastern this year is observed mutually by the Eastern and the Western church, or we can say the Ethiopic church and the papal church because of the peculiar, um, timing and the heavenly timing. All of these holy days of the Christians and the Jews is actually based on the ancient inner Africa type. So when we're speaking about resurrection, we could move a little bit forward with this theme, right? So we have weed day. So we want to say, is this weed day, right? Are we really observing weed day or are we observing, right, resurrection day? And is there any correspondence, right, between Weed Day and Resurrection Day? Is there a correspondence between um, First Fruits, right, and the Hatep or the Hotep, right, which is the Elysian field? Remember, the Israelites were coming out and their heaven or their promised land was agricultural, Right. Was was sovereign. We could say sovereignty, but this is a term, the term sovereignty. We should be very cautious and very judicious, brothers and sisters. Instead of even saying sovereignty, we're talking about the right? We're talking about our freedom, 
as Burhana Selassie, Bob Marley said, talking about I and I freedom. So within the resurrection theme, the connection to the resurrection of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and then notice the connection right here with the greenness of Osar. Now, Osar, the Israelites were Osarian, the true Osarian in the true context. In the very same way, when we say that Christianity, what's known as Christianity, in its root is in the African. The confusion now is taking the taking that plant or that seed apart, is separating from its root, from its groundation. So no longer does the seed grow in good ground. You see, the ground is very important. Matthew chapter chapter no, chapter 13 in Matthew chapter 13 where it is spoken of where Yeshua speaks of the seed and the different types of 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 ground the different types of groundation whether it is stony ground whether it's by the wayside whether it is it is thorny ground and what these different the ground there is the ground of our consciousness, is the ground of our mind. It's, 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 it's how are we tilling the soil of our mind so we can recognize the true and the practical and the, the wisdom application. Wisdom is the proper and the practical application of knowledge. So in the knowledge of the King of Kings and his Christ and in and through Christ, the indwelling, the Tawahido Christ, the herb becomes, the, the cannabis becomes a sacrament. And then the connection now with the holy times and the holy seasons on good ground become obvious and become evident. So once again, brothers and sisters, Melkam, Melkam Tinsai, a beautifully good resurrection of the Christ mind in I and I and I. Shalom Rastafari.